after after the game started, there was a chat message from Milky Nipple saying that his split was amazing. So I don't know if it was. Oh, nobody saw that. I don't know if he was sarcastic or not. But let's watch the split. Let's watch the split. Ready? Ready? <laughs> okay. Okay. We've all been there. <laughs> We've all been there. We've all done it. <laughs> we can't. Well, I can't say anything. I do it all the freaking time. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Coffee Break, and welcome back to the Midwest Amateur Esports League, week number one. It is a six-week tournament featuring a best-of-three series culminating in a grand finals at some point in time. I know uh, I know Scott and I and the rest of the HESPA staff were talking about it recently, and I don't, I don't off the top of my head remember the dates of the, of the grand live tournament. It is going to be in Lawrence, Kansas, I believe, and for any of you who are in Omaha, I will be carpooling down there. We might have to take two cars. Just saying. So let's actually get into this game here, talk a little bit about what's going on, talk about these people. We have... M oh gosh, am I going to have to pronounce this? I'm going to have to say this, aren't I? <sighs> on the bottom right-hand side of Antigua Shipyard, we have this guy. Milky nipple. Mm. Uh, oh dear goodness. Yeah, he's. Oh, oh, the image. He's going to be a red Terran player. On the top left hand side, a little bit easier of a name for me to say. It is going to be hamsters as our orange Terran player, who has already deviated a little bit from what Milky Nipples is doing. Whoa, that is two gas geysers, actually. We're going to be seeing a little bit of one base all-in, I think, out of hamsters. It's, uh, well, I, I guess I'm not really all that surprised. I believe hamsters is playing random, because in the next replay, he was a Zerg player. So I think he's actually going random and spawned in as Terran. This SCV for Hamster is going to get a full scout off of, off of what is going on over in Milky Nipples base. He's going to come in here and go, all right, all right, I can deal with this. I can live with this. It looks like we're going to be having a tech lab coming down to that barracks. Yep, there it is. And Stim Pack probably going to be the choice of upgrade for Milky Nipple. Maybe, a, maybe another barracks, maybe a command center after this. It can really go either way. Hamsters, on the other hand, Probably going to be dropping a factory fairly shortly as soon as he has the minerals for it here. This STV is going to be the one that's doing the deed there in three, two, a one, a f Where did those resources go? He was up at the, the production top doesn't even have anything on it. Well, he had he just had two hundred minerals. What happened? There is it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's going to be a proxy factory. My goodness, I was so confused. It's going to be a proxy factory, and Milky... N Milk is going to be doing a... <laughs> Milky Nipple! Okay, I said it! Ah, oh, Milky Nipple is going to... <sighs> I just can't say it right. I'm sorry. Milk is going to be going for a Reaper expand here. One Reaper coming out onto the map. The second one in production now. For those of you who don't know, Heart of the Swarm, that Reaper is going to spawn out faster. He's going to be, uh, pardon me, his, his movement speed is going to be faster. He will no longer require a tech lab, and I believe he will have health regeneration still. I'm not sure about the health regeneration part. That heart might have been taken out. That command center is going to be on the low ground. We do have an, an armory coming onto the field. I think we might be seeing proxy Thors. That... We're seeing proxy Thors! Oh my goodness, Hamster I think is going to be going proxy Thors in the meantime. Reaper going to be coming up into the main base of Hamster, so he's going to get a full scout off of what's going on, which is probably going to confuse the ever-living hell out of him. Let's see if he actually selects this building at any point in time. Oh, by the way, the D8 Charger will be gone, and no, he's actually going to be forced out without clicking on that building. I was keeping it, I was trying to keep an eye on that. I don't think he actually managed to see that. So he's actually going to be somewhat in the dark about uh, as to what's going to be going on here. In the meantime, Factory just waiting for that to finish up, that armory to finish up. And three seconds, two, one, and it is finished up. Is it going to be a throw? I almost don't believe it. Oh my goodness. It's Proxy Thors. I don't think I've ever... I mean, I've watched some pretty strange games, guys. I mean, I've casted Bronze vs. Bronze to Grandmasters and Masters. I have never seen a proxy Thor rush before. This this is something in an entire league of its own. I'm actually kind of excited for this. And that's right, guys. Only 
in the Midwest Amateur Esports League. That's right. Three Reapers on the field. Milky Nipple is going to be continuing that Reaper production. They're going to be running over into third base, making sure nothing's there. They'll probably run next in the Naturals expansion. Go. Oh, crap. There's, there's nothing there. And oh my goodness, everything now being pulled off the line for Hamsters. He's going for the complete all-in version of this build because... You know, I'm sure that there is a non-complete all-in version of this build. These Reapers need to micro like their lives depend on it, because guess what? Their lives do depend on it. They're going to be able to, <coughs> excuse me, kill off a few of these SCVs, but not all of them that were actually that last Reaper kind of, uh, it's kind of a shame he couldn't kill them all off, considering that he's also down on 21 health. Ew, enough money was gotten, gathered, whatever, for one additional Thor, th so it's going to be two Thors on the map. Milky Nipple, by the way, is still completely in the dark about this. He does now see the armory, might have a vague idea of what's going on, not going to be running out across the middle of the map, going to be able to see everything that's on the middle of the map. This Reaper almost getting caught, but they can't jump down that ridge line, obviously, so that Reaper is going to get away. Oh, there we go, going to be able to take out that Reaper. One Reaper does remain over in the main base of Hamsters. He just really needs to lift off a building or something. What does Ham uh, Milky Nipple have back to the fan? Well, he's pulling uh, most of his SCVs off, his, off the line. He's going to be having Marines on the field. They're going to be stimming up. Simpack is completed, but that Thor going to add a massive amount of DPS. Not going to be waiting for Thor number two to come onto the field. There's no repairing power for that Thor. It looks like Hamster are going to lose that first Thor. Second Thor going to be trying to come into the fray, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Hamster is down to six supply. Hamster saying Imba, of course, and leaving the game. So game number one is going to go to Milky Nipple after a proxy Thor rush. Talk about other words that don't tend to want to come off the come off the come off the lips too well. There, come off the tongue. That's the saying.